So back when the net opened? Yeah. It's uh it's like my first costume. It has a uh vertical zipper, not a U-shaped zipper. I would do a sip. Yep, running it down. You got yours? Yep. I got it. Open the mask. I said the mask, not the mouth. <laughs> oh, well, that's for later. <laughs> <Okay. sighs> oh, jeez, did I leave my phone volume on? Jesse, what is your ring? My ring? Mm -hmm. Melee. The uh, A button selection in the menu. Got you. Ready? Ready, senor. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I talking to? Huh? Which one am I talking to? What are you talking about? The symbiote or me? Yeah. Uh, I'm talking to the symbiote right now. <laughs> Until the mask comes off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you found this at Goodwill? I did. You watched it? I watched it, yes. Okay. <laughs> I watched it. Uh, I hope so. I definitely wouldn't have this over my tattoo if I didn't watch it. No, no that's good. Uh, <laughs> How did it heal over the past week? Uh, it's healing faster than John's. Yeah. Because... The the skin already like started peeling off. Yeah, I sent him a. I don't think I sent you. I sent him the Orochimaru clip. <laughs> oh, it was like it was a funny. mixture of Orochimaru and a uh, Kung Pao. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I, I sent it to you a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it just basically was like Betty saying, from this point forward, I'll be known as, and then it cuts to Orochimaru saying, Orochimaru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then my arm is all peeling. Yeah. My picture on the side. Mine actually peeled twice, though. Like, it yeah. peeled the first week. Yeah. And then stopped, and then now it's peeling again. Yeah, but yours hasn't gotten, like, the lighter color yet. Mm -mm. No, yours is still not the final form. So the peeling, I've only had that happen when I get sunburnt. Is it similar to that, or? Uh, yes. But I haven't been sunburned that bad. Okay. So uh, I've been sunburned one time oh, okay. to the point of peeling. Okay. But it it peels more with the tattoo hmm. and it could last up to four weeks as well. Dang. Yeah, it, but you don't when you peel you don't have green coming off. So it's weird hmm. looking at green skin and black skin coming off. Oh. Yeah, and yellow skin. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's weird. Okay. Yeah, I can officially say no that blue I have skin. I have no blue, blue skin. skin. <laughs> Just green, yellow and Well it looks kinda like turquoise the blue does, and then when it peels it's light blue. Mm. Ew. It's, yeah, it's, I'll show you one. <laughs> okay. When I take off the suit. Yeah. But yeah, it uh, it's feeling pretty fast. I think it didn't help my uh, shirt at work. Rubs on my forearm. Oh. So it uh, it like sped up the process. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes like I'll do this, and then I'll look at my shirt, and there will be ink on my yeah. shirt, and I'm just Aww. like, oh, whoops. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Are you not supposed to protect it? Uh, while it's healing like the film on uh, top of it? i don't know something uh i put the aqua four on it still uh yeah, wash it yeah how many i wash it like two Twice three a times a day depending on yeah sweating or conditions. aqua for the the lotion 
Uh, it's a or is it a bandage? Skin, I don't know what it's called, like an ointment. Okay. Ointment. For scratches and, oh, okay. and stuff like that. Yeah. Dryness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it uh, it keeps it moist and it it just sort of protects it. Yeah. So it's not like constant dirt and stuff hitting it. Yeah. So it's uh. Okay. Yeah, it's it's good. It's what is what are, what have people said to you about it? Uh, they're like, oh, is that your new tattoo? And they're like, yeah, well, what is it? And I'm like, oh, it's the podcast logo. Ooh. Like, so, has anyone random said anything to you? Like, someone you don't know? Um, I can't think of anyone. The guy, uh, I, I had to take my car to the mechanics last week before we got the tattoo. Yeah. They didn't really fix my car, so I had to take it back. Oh, yeah. And then he's just like, new ink? And I was like, yeah. And he's like. Is it real? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> keeps asking me if it's real or one of those patch-ons. Yeah. It, it, it uh, kind of looks like that. I was, I, I, <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely real. Not a patch <laughs> Is that a comment because it, they think it doesn't look good? or it's, I don't know. It's, I think it's because of like how yeah. colorful it is. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's how everyone at work like was saying that it's just like really colorful so it looks like it's just a patch on like a temporary one like a sharpie yeah yeah i see i yeah someone said it looked like a leaf look like a leaf that kind of does i I don't see it i mean i I mean i know what our our logo is so if they've never seen it before it looks like a leaf that's been eaten by a bug i guess i guess (laughs) (laughs) i guess (laughs) um yeah yeah, and finally uh, put it on my dating profiles. Oh, tatted male, tatted, aggressive male. <laughs> oh boy! Could you imagine, like, if I did that, and then you're showing up to the date, they're expecting someone more tatted than yeah. this. Yeah, just Photoshop more tattoos on you, and you come. It's just the one. Oh, no. It's just the one, and it's like the most colorful one. Yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> And then I don't have like a deep voice. It's just like, hi, how are you? <laughs> okay. Um, this is my podcast right here. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, uh, thoughts on Venom <laughs> before, like watching this. Were you excited? I was. I was neutral. I was not. Ex- I was excited only because we ended up seeing so many trailers for it in past like four to five months of the, movies the same trailer or multiple trailers i think i've seen i think we one or two maybe saw two versions of the same trailer yeah in theaters in multiple times yeah yeah i remember the first trailer had a lot of the horse the second one did not yeah and the horse is not a big part it's not <laughs> it's not and i, I thought was saying that the whole time i believed <laughs> yeah i didn't think yeah. it would be and then they just had it in the first trailer a ton yeah 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 like basically the, all the scenes with the horse were in the trailer all yeah times. yeah yeah i was not excited for this movie no no yeah. based on the previous two movies right yeah 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 i mean the first one wasn't bad the second one wasn't was bad but it wasn't good it they could have done so much more with Carnage. it wasn't yeah it wasn't internals level but yeah. it was down there i would say it, it's the it's if there's a medium point in Marvel, it's below the medium point towards the yeah. second bad half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Can you take off the mask, please? Well, I was going to make a joke. You were going to ask. Oh, so could, can, continue with your thoughts. And then I was be like, oh, I didn't realize how hot Mr. Chen was. And then uh, I'm also <laughs> hot right now, too. And then I was going to take off the mask. Okay, at that point. <laughs> okay. I was never going to bring her up. So. <laughs> oh, well, you should have. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Talking to the, the Talking mask to the, the mask. Was, no. <laughs> I can just see your eyes through it. So just, yeah, I can see your eyelashes come I'm poking through it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um it's Halloween. About ish. to be. Ish. Ish. Yeah. yeah. Um so Jesse brought us the best Halloween candy he could find. The Yummy. oldest the oldest Halloween candy. Iconic. Iconic. Oh, let me get it undressed. Oh, <laughs> the, this is, I'm not as flexible as I used to be. It's hot. <laughs> so are we doing the candy yeah. bar already? <laughs> we, I mean, you announced that it was the oldest, so I don't think jelly beans are the oldest. No, but apparently they're made by 
the original candy corn were made by the company that became Jelly Belly. That's cool. Which is really weird because they got I got some Jelly Belly jelly beans right here. Sour. I'm afraid I'm going to bust them. Oh, man. Listen. I don't know how many you want. I'll say a couple. And you like candy corn. I like candy corn. But you were disappointed when I brought them? Yeah. Well, I don't understand why. Because, like, of all the things you could have brought, like... It doesn't smell like... It smells sweeter than actual candy corn. What do you mean by actual candy corn? I feel like this is a knockoff. Like, not oh. real, mm. like, from the company. It's very sweet. Mm. It's, like, sweeter than... It smells sweeter than it should be. I don't like the texture. This is the guy who eats anything. <laughs> I mean, it's the... Te- I don't like the texture of candy when it's, like, this texture. Would you eat this or silk worms? This? Okay, That's all we need to talk about. Okay. I think some worms are like at the bottom of most people's lists of anything. You do a little teeth like that too. I hate you. <laughs> That's the best part. Oh, man. You want some candy corn? It tastes like whipped cream. That's how sweet it is. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, it's not. It's not. As good as normal. Yeah. If candy corn is like out of five of all candies, candy, n- listen, I did not say it's a five. If it was. If it was out of five yeah. of all candies, I would say it's pretty middle ground, so I'd give it a three. Yeah. I'll give it a three as well. It's just sugar. I got to bring some good that's, candy corn. That's what I was. <laughs> Most candy. <laughs> I got to bring premium candy corn. Albert's type of candy corn. It's like a one. Cream of the crop candy corn. I, I just don't understand. Like, what about the texture? I don't know. It feels like I'm eating a crayon, but it's, yeah, it it's, tastes better than a crayon. I mean, it's <laughs> not necessarily waxy, but it it's sort of waxy. A little bit. Yeah. It's just not a fan. Yeah, it's 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 not quite jelly bean texture. No, because a jelly bean has like a harder outer coat, mm-hmm. and then the inside is sort of. Soft. Soft, but not as soft and waxy as this. It's chewier. Chewier, yeah. 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 Well, we have some sour jelly bellies if you want. Will that reset your palate? I got coffee over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, go ahead and get to the details of this movie. Uh, it's directed by Kelly Marcel. The tagline is, Till death do they part. Um. A budget of $120 million estimated. All of that goes to paying Venom. Paying Venom. Um, not even Tom Hardy, just Venom. Uh, release date of October 25th, 2024. Runtime of one hour and 49 minutes. Rated PG-13. Is it 13 or R? No, it's PG-13. Really? I thought it was R. No. There was like lack of blood. Even when he bit the heads off, there was no blood. Yeah. Like, there was blood. There was blood was. only from the alien eat the xenophage eating really? the people at a distance. It was I, barely non I thought we triggering. Had talked about the rating it being rated R. No. Mm. Really? We were complaining that it could have been or should have been rated R, but it's not. That's weird. Have any of the venom has been rated R? No. Yeah. No. Carnage should have been rated R. And this one Venom, Venom should be rated overall. Out. Yeah, yeah overall. how violent it Venom be. should be, should and could be. Yeah, from source material. Um. Yeah. Anyway, did I say box office? No. Nope. Worldwide of not yet. Uh, as of today, October twenty six. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Saturday after it came out. Yeah, thirty six million dollars worldwide. It's not too much of a big hit. It was weird because yesterday my theater was like and. The th- not just the theater, but the whole like multiplex of theaters was packed. For this movie? Yeah. Huh. Maybe numbers just didn't update yet. Yeah, but maybe. it was it was it was crazy. I mean, I did check this morning, so maybe that affected. No. Yeah. But um, you seen it Thursday? It was empty. There was, was like empty. maybe fifteen to twenty people. Oh, okay. Mm. That's better than uh, <laughs> what the movie we see recently. Movie, yeah. Uh, what, what did we watch? I don't remember. 
Not tra- Joker. Joker, Joker, yeah. yeah. It was definitely better than Joker. Yeah. And oh. Joker got a lot of marketing. A lot of marketing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, my theater was and the... I, oh, sorry. The, nor- the f- back section, the normal section was full. The front was empty. Makes sense. Yeah. But usually if a movie's popular enough, then both Everything are full. is full. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw mine Thursday at like 6.45, so it wasn't late. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People are like off work, like trying to hang out by that time. Yeah. Maybe some people are still getting off of work. They got to go home. So maybe like an eight o'clock showing might have been busier, but that's yeah. a Thursday. So that's also a, maybe it's not any more busier. Hmm. Yeah, I did Friday, 9 p.m. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did f- 9 p.m.? Yeah, you did 8.30? <laughs> yeah, 8.15, yeah. 8.30, yeah. yeah. You see that, uh, which one? At the one on Bullard. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we Australia. We yeah. Were, I left before you got out. Yep. Should have put a should have put a sticky note high on your car. <laughs> <laughs> you can find um, mine. I didn't see it. <laughs> uh, yeah, as, as we said multiple times, it's in theaters. So uh, let's go ahead and do our sell that sip, the six word summary of the movie. You just know yours by memory. Yeah, I I just made it up like fifteen minutes ago. Do you want to go first so you don't forget it? Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll say it first. So it could be, it could be, it's kind of for, I have two, but there's only one word change. So it's, uh, I'll go with just, I'll just say the one. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you I just, I switch out the word when it comes to it. So yeah. a good starting point for Venom or you can put null there. Um, I, so I thought this is how the movie was going to go. And I guess we're going to have spoilers right here with my sell that sip. Mm-hmm. I thought we were going to get Noel in this movie. I thought Noel was going to be fighting. I thought Noel was going to die. And it was going to be like Carnage. Like Carnage is a pretty big character. And for them to kill Carnage is pretty disappointing in the first movie. So second for us movie. to, the, well, I mean, in one movie, sorry, in one movie, but in the second movie. So for us to get introduced to Noel and the lore of Noel and just the villain in this movie are the Xenophage, Xenophages? Yes. So, and those are pretty intimidating. I thought they were cool designed. And, yeah. and So I thought those were awesome. And then we barely see Noel's face at as like the credits come. Mm-hmm. Now they, that's interesting. I thought it was going to be a completely different movie. So I I was surprised. Good starting point for Noel. Hopefully, from what we have going forward, I know we're getting Doctor Doom soon, but I wasn't excited for um, Kane the Conqueror. This is like miles above Kane the Conqueror when it seems like threat level, design, coolness. Like it just miles above Kane the Conqueror. I feel totally different from that. Really? I do. Oh, whoa. Because at least through Loki, we get more of Kang. No. Yeah, I, we do. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. But I didn't like what I got from Kang. I, I didn't like the multiverse stuff in general. Yeah, I'm I'm so and glad. And Kang is all multiverse stuff. All so. multiverse, yeah. But as far as this movie, my so that's up is lackluster end of an okay trilogy. And it's because... It's a... It, like you said, it sets up Null in the first half of the movie, and then it's not what I expected coming out of the movie. Yeah, I was I was surprised, and and for me, it's for the worse. They mm-hmm. they set up Null, and then nothing happens really. Venom's gone. Spoilers, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. But is he really? <laughs> is he really like what? I guess you could. I don't know. It, it's. So many open-ended things yeah. on purpose for them yeah. to bring it back if they wanted to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's I don't know. I I, feel, I think John and I are on the same page here. Probably he's probably you're probably closer to Albert than I'm. You are to me. So let's have this Venom, the last piece of trash. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? This oh, movie okay. sucked. Like really? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> really. Okay. For, for me, the only thing. I liked were the Xenophage designs, but that was yeah. it. Yeah. Like how it. they used the Ven- Xenophages or how they put them into the movie as a bad guy, uh, as the antagonist, I yeah. did not like. Oh, really? Right. It, it feels too contrived to me about 
their weaknesses. But the xenophages' weaknesses of how they can only specifically see venom when venom is fully formed with the yeah. codex. So that, uh, for me, that doesn't. I don't. Yeah. I don't understand why that happens, but I just went along with it. I yeah yeah. I just went along with. I it. mean, f- for how of a super hunter predator thing it looks like. Yeah. It feels too specific, but yeah, that's, that's it me. should it should be <laughs> it should be because they're still attached. It should always be activated based on something like that. Yeah, it, it should, or or at least a weak signal yeah. or like uh like, something. Like if you, if if they're both, like morphed together as one, it's like precise location, or if they're sl- like not morphed together but they're still attached, yeah. it should be like oh approximate Google location, like yeah. sort of something like something, that, something a two mile radius, yeah, something. like like fifty, like a five hundred foot, right, yeah, like a warm cold signal, yeah, something like that. I I understand what you're saying. Yeah, we're, okay, we're going to already too many spoilers. <laughs> Let's go finish. Our uh, ratings and stuff. Let's, yeah, let's rate this movie out of uh, ten symbiotes. Symbiotes. Yeah. Yeah. What would you rate it, Albert? I'm at like, uh, between like a four and a five right now. Okay. All right. All right. I'm you, at a two. You're at a two. No way. It's pretty like like I said. I don't, I don't like this movie. Um, it's basically like just the same jokes from the first two movies. Just rehashed in different ways. Yeah, yeah. They're still making the same joke about like the heads and all all this other stuff. Yeah. The story goes nowhere. There's no character development. Like really for even Eddie Brock. I feel like there's a little bit. How? Let the only think, but... thing that changes about him is how he feels about the his life. relationship with Venom. Yeah, and not the, with I'm... life. Really? I don't because think so. Katy Perry song. Sometimes he was hot on Venom. Sometimes he was cold on Venom. I did, I just I think I didn't hear that part. I if I listen to anything Katy Perry, it's just kind of like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, but but literally, there's artists that will play, and my brain just ignores them completely because I just I don't care for them. Sure. So it would just be like no music essentially for me. <laughs> it's really weird. So that's how you should have felt about this movie. No, I. <laughs> so you said two, and you said like a four or five. Yeah. I was like at a. A solid seven. Like I really like this movie. Um, I think this is the best out of the Venom trilogy, mm-hmm. and I would watch this over Homecoming and Far From Home. Like All right, well, by this far, podcast is officially yeah. over. <laughs> hmm. uh, I'm 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 super excited for Noel and what they did. I think the Xenophages were interesting to design. Uh, I did, it's not a perfect movie. That's why it's not like a nine. It's a seven. Like I had fun, but I understand that there's things to to pick apart. Yeah, on this movie, um, but I was expecting an entirely different movie that I was liking. I was expecting to like less. Okay, I was thinking maybe like a five. They're gonna do a documentary on like your brain one of these days and how you justify certain things. Yeah, yeah. Be the greatest documentary of all time. I don't <laughs> this know. Is like, I'm just gonna take the brain out and be like, "Whoa, that was a lot smaller than we expected." <laughs> 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 The size of like a a small Tic-tac. bag of <laughs> candy corn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a can one candy corn. <laughs> it's uh, shaped like a candy corn too. <laughs> um, did you watch it, Nicole? I did. What did you think? I liked it. Okay. I liked yeah, I I had fun with the symbiotes. Yeah, too bad they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big spoilers. I don't know why. It gave me Ninja Turtles vibes. Just like all the Ninja Turtles. Stop. Not, not quite that good. No, no. But like the Michael Bay talking. Ninja Turtles. There's, no, we're done. <laughs> For clarification, like, Maybe the Michael Bay Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's what yeah. I said. But I mean, with these symbiotes, there's barely any characterization for them. Yeah, yeah. They get a fight scene. Yeah. And they all die. Do Do you like this more or less than Let There Be Carnage? Mm. Because I didn't really like that one. I don't remember what I rated Let There Be Carnage. Yeah, it's probably like a five-ish, five-ish. I think I hated this one more because it was more of the same, and it went nowhere. Mm. 
You get to see Eddie's feet a lot in this movie. <laughs> you like feet, so I should have gave you. That's a two I don't like there. feet. It's the guy that keeps commenting on <laughs> <in> our <laughs> YouTube post. <laughs> oh, it's for you. It's socks on, John. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let him breathe. Jesse doesn't wear socks all the time. He's wearing them today, but I mean, he also does not have his. Oh, he's not wearing for the them camera. Today. Are you wearing socks today? Under the yeah, that's the whole body sock. <laughs> okay, <laughs> under the costume. No, exactly. X use your X-ray vision right now. Get a good look. Oh boy. <laughs> <sighs> okay, character shot. <laughs> uh, which ones do you want? Like. <laughs> Uh, I only put four. That's uh, fine. Yeah. Uh, I put Tom Hardy, who's Eddie Brock. Yep. Uh, Juno Temple, who's Dr. Teddy Payne. Mr. Payne. No wonder why you like the movie so much. <laughs> uh, Reese Ifans, who's uh, Martin. Yeah. The father. Yeah. And uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor, who is uh, Strickland. Strickland, yeah. Or uh, also known as Lizard and Wizard from... Lizard and Wizard from Whoa, <laughs> Doctor Strange. He actually has a name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, all right. Spoiler alert. If we didn't spoil anything already, we, we spoiled a we lot. Spoiled we spoiled the, the whole movie, basically. Um, <laughs> no use crying old spoiled milk at this point. Yeah. I mean, you put this section at the front of the episode. You're not, you're not missing much. You're not missing much, uh, but I had fun. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh, you know how. You're dumb. Do, yeah. do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, you know how. You movie know how simple. Uh, character run away whole time. Yes. I like Make it. Make funny jokes. In joke. the Mexico and Nevada deserts. Yeah. <laughs> Make funny jokes. See crazy yeah. guy who reminds me of myself when I become father. I like oh. Motive. <laughs> I like Motive vs. Madness. Great, great movie. Even uh, though trash. <laughs> uh, I would say... No, I'm, I'm not going to say it. I don't care like how you feel about this movie compared to Multiverse of Ma- Madness, but to say this is better than like the Spider-Man movies is a little like crazy. Um, it, it just, to me, like it screams like... Uh, what's up? It screams... Uh, it's a symbiote, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it screams like a narrative. A narrative? No, yeah. no, no. It's not a narrative. Um, I just don't like Peter Parker or him his friends in that movie. So, kind of the whole purpose of that movie. So, mm. so at least it had a purpose. No, uh, this one has a purpose too. I don't think, I don't think you guys liked the purpose or liked how it ended. But I there's think a purpose, but they don't execute delivering it. You're, you're, not not to the degree, yeah. You're gonna a, make him mad. <laughs> <laughs> I've never uh, seen that. That was a very firm voice from Albert. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, and that's how I. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. pretty easy. Um, yeah. I I just I'm looking forward to Noel. I think it's gonna be. Who's he gonna? Who's gonna? Who is he gonna fight? Who's gonna be involved in? I don't think it's gonna get past. If anything, and maybe he'll fight crazy Spider Man. <laughs> Five. And your favorite, uh, your favorite Godzilla actor, Aaron Taylor Johnson. That is Craven, right? Yeah. Well, why'd you say and and Aaron Taylor, Quicksilver and Craven at the same time? <laughs> no, I said <laughs> and your favorite actor, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Oh, he's not. From he's Godzilla, okay. He's okay. You know? I don't. I don't <laughs> like him in Godzilla, but. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even super looking forward to or, Craven either. Or maybe he'll get the we'll get Mordo again. Or Mordo, well, not Mordo. Uh, Mor- Mor- Morbius. Morbius. Yeah, Morbius. <laughs> Morbius and uh, we'll get Craven. another dance scene with Noel and the the bad guy. That's that'll, psh, dude, that would be Sony an eleven. Sony is killing these movies. Eleven out of out of ten. That'd be uh, perfect, dude. You should be in the credits if they make that happen. <laughs> Who? I really like him. I really don't want to be attached to that at all. <laughs> I mean, you just birthed the idea, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how Craven's gonna go. I feel like it's gonna be like a four or five. Craven is, but I mean, it seems like they put all the plot points into the trailer again. So yeah, yeah. What did you like about this movie? What I like about this movie? And if I hear no one more time, then. Nolan Void. <laughs> uh, Nolan the Void. <laughs> Nolan the Void. All right. So it starts off like right 
where we started off at Far From Home, right? Or no, f- No Way Home? It, yeah, where yeah. he's, well, he's yeah. in Mexico. Yeah. Well, it starts with Null narrating yeah, it does, yeah. his point of view. And then he's he's basically explaining the codex. And the way he's talking to himself is very weird, but whatever. It's a he's comic book. It's a comic yeah. book villain, so whatever. That, he's that's, talking about why he's in prison or how he got there. Yeah, he just tells his aliens who don't understand English, like... <laughs> How does Noel speak English? Is Noel a human or an alien? What's going on here? <laughs> He's very human looking. He's very human looking. I thought, based on his hair and the the shape of the face and the head, I thought it was Henry Cavill for whatever reason. Eh, no. I thought it was like... Uh... <laughs> eh, no. <laughs> it did not look like Henry Cavill. I don't know why. I just, I thought... I was like, I think Henry Cavill's in this movie in my head. <laughs> uh, anyway, Andy Serkis plays uh, Noel, so... I'm excited for that. More like Noel's voice. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's motion captures. He plays Caesar, right? Yeah, but you don't see any of Andy Serkis's face in Caesar's facial features. Really? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. You superimpose them. I was like, ooh, that's the monkey <laughs> I don't guy. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> they, he did the performance capture, sure, but I don't think I thought that was just paint. I thought it was just paint on his <laughs> okay, face. Uh, it's so good. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> So it started off I with Venom. You're triggering more mirror hour. <laughs> Me definitely. <laughs> That's the plan. Um, so we start off with Venom in Mexico, and yeah, he's uh, he's drunk, and I he, thought he couldn't get drunk. Yeah, Venom is kind of like wish washy, flip mm. floppy on like what his powers are and what he can do, and that's great. Yeah, Love yeah, yeah. Cons- inconsistency. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, <laughs> so we, <laughs> so he's in Mexico walking around. Um, you get the xenophage following him around, which uh, it's still kind of weird how he can't be noticed when he's in human disguise, human yeah. form. But I'm gonna ignore that because and the xenophage apparently you can't you can't ignore piece like big pieces of the movie. It, it's coincidentally in Mexico. <laughs> like... Yeah. 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 Um, everyone he interacts with in Mexico speaks English perfectly for him. It just yeah. bothers me. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't expect everyone in Mexico to know English or speak it. But <laughs> yeah, well, this is an American movie, so <laughs> that's their problem. Oh, just uh, like the alien is speaking English. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, like everyone in this universe just speaks English. <laughs> uh, this is the this is the Venom universe. Whatever, everyone in the universe just speaks English. Yeah. There's no. If you speak any language, it's only English. <laughs> That's just how it works in this universe. It's okay. Keep moving. Uh, so you get the whole dog scene where I thought there was some blood when he bit off the heads, but no, no, not at all. Really? No, even not even a splurt. Really? Yeah. I thought it was like a just. I thought it was like a CGI splurt. cut off the head and four four chomps. Yeah, and then. At that point, he is being followed by the xenophage, like the xenophage, xenophage and the military. And the military, right? Um, and then I'm trying to remember. I seen it super late yesterday, but um, it cuts he, to the side character, right? Where oh, the electric lady. Yeah, the Doctor yeah. Payne. Mister Payne. Uh, yeah, it cuts to her. I didn't really care for her character. It's half the movie. It's about quarter of the movie i mean it's more than no it's a supporting more character more than all yeah <laughs> yeah but uh she was okay I, I didn't i didn't care for her but she was not okay <laughs> there was nothing that came from her <laughs> it was blank face the whole time no, no one's home yeah and i'm supposed to believe this lady's like very intelligent and the well, whole time I, she's just talking about her brother and why she wished it was him instead of her yeah all just to get up the the ending scene where she saves the other doctor doctor yeah. Because those are equivalent, you know, siblings. And, and she's fast only because she got struck by lightning at one point. <laughs> yeah, she's the Flash. Um, just... Maybe Sorry. I'm just excited for Noel, but... that that's, but that's such a small part of the movie. It's a small part of the movie. And it's but not this movie. It's a it, different it's movie. A, it's a, that's why I think I put a good start for Noel. 
because I'm excited. But for you rated forward. the movie a seven. I know. I'm I'm thinking about moving it down. Oh, you should definitely move it down. Oh, I'm like, moving it up like, now. No, you know what? I'm moving it to you an eight. You should go all the way to eleven. The bottom. Oh, it's eleven now. You know what? <laughs> Keep talking, Mister. We're, we're gonna we're gonna settle this. <laughs> it's only a no because of it's only an eleven because of the movie you think it will be with null in it. Yeah, it's an and 11. there's no promises on that. Yeah, yeah. It might Sony not make has enough. shown that they can't produce a good superhero movie or super villain movie. They produced two good ones. Which two? The Mar- the Miles movies. <laughs> okay, fine. They, they, it's they, separate. That's animated it's, as yeah. well. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Uh, um, do you? A chunk. I don't think you do. Ninety percent of all the the Spider-Man, Sony, Marvel, Sony are not good. Like, if we include the Toby and the Andrew, those are like the most successful parts of them. And that I would include Tom Holland's as like Marvel. Not Sony, but they're it's a mix. You but just had to throw Andrew in there, like, always have to, like, <laughs> like, but I'm like, I'm saying, like, a majority of the Sony properties, especially now, not great. Like, the best they are is maybe touching, like, okay, and then they're not great. But there's a reason why they didn't finish the Andrew trilogy, yeah. It's because he didn't go to a meeting mm-hmm. and they were, were getting any excuse to throw in another younger Spider Man, which. Mm-hmm. For better or worse, uh, it made money, but um, I mean, Spider Man Three. Cross your fingers. Um, Why would that ever happen? <laughs> oh, it's yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> don't ask me questions. Continue what? with your synopsis yeah. of uh, this uh, wonderful seven you gave. Yeah. Um. Maybe six of the points are just the xenophages. I don't know. Maybe, but I don't even like those. Like the design, I guess, is cool. Yeah, but then they just have everything they need. And what are you talking about? They have everything they need to kill anything. Yeah, it can jump super yeah. far. Yeah, it can run fast. Yeah, it's like it, it's like the for some reason it what? doesn't call the other xenophages or null until the end. Yeah, they're not they're not super smart. They're just aggressive. I don't I don't expect it to be smart. Yeah. I just expect it to make sense. <laughs> they have a lawnmower in the back of their head. Yeah. No, it's more like a wood chipper. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Very valid, valid. <laughs> I don't understand how it kills the symbiotes though, but what do you mean? What do you mean what do I mean? You put anything in a wood chipper it's dead. <laughs> but the 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 symbiotes have been cut and broken into pieces to s- before but not at this degree maybe there's some ass i don't know the anatomy maybe there's some this. ass a- acid, acid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's gonna say acid the, the other so it's supersonic uh waves and then heat and ass that's the weakness of symbiotes <laughs> <laughs> ass. mrs chen's ass they <laughs> it's oh. just when you, it's never shown venom from the back but it's just uh, just Eddie box ass just out because they can't We've touch the We've seen Venom's ass. asset now. Yeah? Yeah, during the dance scene. Which, yeah, again, but... why do they feel the need to add a dance scene to every... Hey, at least it wasn't like, a oh, musical. Oh, we have, we, have we have a xenophage <laughs> chasing us. Let me just... Let me just get this last he's dance He's Venom. In. He's dumb. Like, he's Venom. But like, they just got done talking about it. Yeah, he's he's just Venom. He's like, let's oh, honor, let's, the, let's, honor That's okay. let's honor our only friend, Mrs. Chen, with a dance, bro. I, you gotta I, reference the title card too. Yeah, and if I was <laughs> if I was with Venom, and Mrs. Chen asked me to dance, I wouldn't say no. She's like a <sighs> beautiful eighty year old woman he's who Venom. looks he gets thirty. A pass. Yeah. <laughs> Kids in a movie don't, but Venom, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's dumb. He gets a pass. Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm triggered. <laughs> <laughs> As you should be. <laughs> um, I had I just had a lot of fun with it. The movie doesn't really make sense, uh, but I have fun. Of movies, huh? Go ahead. It's a big part of movies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not my movies. <laughs> they don't need to make sense all the time. Um, as long as I have fun. Like sometimes we have fun during Transformers or other just I mean, for super me it needs movies. to make sense in the movie. Yeah, well, the movie's not consistent for me. That's my superpower. It doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> uh, That's my superhero. My superpower, Captain. 
It never makes sense. Never. I never think. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything you guys enjoyed about the movie? You gave it a two and you gave it a five. Four. I, I, I liked the brief cut scenes we get at the end of them fighting the Xenophage. Yeah. Yeah. That was an interesting setup. I wish it was, you know, in a bigger area, not in a tiny little lab. <laughs> yeah. But they they build it up too, like they do. The, the the guy is like the the symbiote from the other guy was like um Mulligan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Mulligans. He's like, You have an army down here. Release them and protect the codex and then yeah. they're all they're all dead. Yeah. No one survived. Yeah. Well, they have, yeah, they have interesting designs. They all died from one xenophage and then it finally called the rest of, well not even the rest of them three more yeah. of them or two more of them and then yeah i think it was like four total yeah man who cares but yeah. at that point like they're done it, the, the movie's over like yeah they should have the codex null should be yeah released yeah all hell breaks loose and we never have to watch this movie again we don't have to watch it ever again yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> um like, yeah. just setting up the fact that they had a lot of them, and then, like, all the symbiotes lose to one. Like, they didn't even take one down. Yeah. That just shows how strong that these creatures are. But we already see that in the first two-thirds of the movie. Yeah. It just, it's just hammering it home. It's just but kicking then Venom's a dead horse. Like, Venom could just suck them all in and... Well, do you know why? I, I was thinking about that. Like, why... Why could he do that, or whether they allow him to do that? They can't kill him. I mean, yeah. I mean, I just think that Venom is just a more he's also more full, powerful, really realized or... symbiote because of whatever happened to him and Eddie getting yeah. the Codex, or they're a better match yeah. or something. Yeah, there's something like that. There's either better like compatibility, um, either there's development over the I don't know the the better connection, the better you fight. Like yeah. Like something like that. Is that um, true though? Like I don't I don't know, but there's gotta be something out of they either develop the skill, like training for the No, not year. that is that even true that like they can't kill him? Like they just need the codex, whatever that is. They never really explain that. Yeah. That doesn't mean that they can't kill him. I think well one of them. Oh, well, I guess of them they dies, do say that. Yeah, they, they, they say make it. a big deal about that. Yeah, so like that's that's why they can't kill him. I just don't know if they just need venom or if they need Eddie and Venom together. Like, they I don't need know. need them alive. So then they yeah. should just use the supersonic sound thing and knock them off. And yeah, there you have both of them. But yeah. no, they let, they let him walk them into an acid pit of death. Yeah. Which then there was a big explosion. And Eddie does not die for some reason. Yeah. Somehow <laughs> he's under he, that big old door. <laughs> Be reasonable, Jesse. <laughs> Be reasonable. <laughs> There's no way he shouldn't have survived that. If the explosion knocks the two doctors, I said that wrong. Fifty, yeah, I saw you like, about that. Yeah, I did if, say that wrong. if the explosion knocks like the two doctors like fifty feet into the air, yeah, and they're already hundreds of feet away, yeah, that explosion is gonna s- smash w- like whatever door yeah, Eddie's but, hiding under. Yeah, I understand. So, with the doctor standing, you which know, doctor are we talking about? We're talking about the uh, doctor Payne. Combined with the symbiote. Yeah. And she gets knocked up. Yes. Knocked as well up. as the other one. <laughs> sure. She gets knocked over. As yes. well as the other... What I forget what her name was. Yeah. The yeah. one that is in love with uh, them and... But yeah, they're standing together next yes. to each other. Yes. And they they get they get knocked a yeah. pretty good amount of feet in the air. Yeah. Yeah. So... This movie belongs with Eternals. <laughs> I, get, I could see your argument for that. As long as the rest of the Venom movies are Eternals level as well. I don't think this is the best Venom movie, though, so I don't no. have to say that. No. Is this the worst out of the three? Yes. I think so now, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm okay I like Carnage more. Yeah. yeah. The first yeah. one was the best. I don't remember that one at all. <laughs> it's okay. But it's also, I haven't watched it recently. Yeah. Um, I think why it's best is because it's the first time we get a lot of these jokes. And... It's just the thrill, I think, of having Venom on the screen for the first time. Yeah. If we if yeah. we revisit it, I think it's it's about the all similar, I think, in quality. Uh, I just think they just went 
crazier and all out on this one, which I appreciated. And they didn't kill the what did they go villain. All out in? Hmm? Where did they go all out? And just like just we spent a good part of the movie just you're sitting in a van, sitting in a van with yeah. a family I don't care about. No, you didn't care for these. I don't know why I had. Why fun. should I care for these people? It's just just slice of life. It's a slice of life venom anime that they just Not my gave life. you. <laughs> uh-huh, like hashtag van life. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested in that, John? No. Really. <laughs> you know, like Doctor Connors as uh, as just a random. First of all, I didn't even realize it was Doctor Connors until I saw it in the trivia. Yeah. Well, just, well that's your fault. Martin Connors, not his first name, but it is now. <laughs> Could have been. Should have been. Should have been. <laughs> um. Like I said, I I just had a lot of fun with this movie, and I'm excited for Noel. Uh, the act, some of the action was great. Uh, have we seen any? We don't really get a lot of water underwater scenes, like in superhero movies, and that's your Aquaman. But I don't really care for Aquaman. Uh, but <laughs> we need to watch Avatar. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I said superhero movies, but we, but the other part of your sentence was Avatar, huh? But we can't say that because we haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, we'll watch it as soon as Noel comes out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we just never. We I just mean, never. Okay, so <laughs> finish, finish what you're you're trying to. Say. So the, the water, the fi- action, the CGI. water effects with Venom and and like the physics underwater, I thought was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Shaking your head. You wouldn't uh, be surprised about <laughs> you wouldn't be surprised about this water CGI unless we watched Avatar. Have you seen it yet? No. Oh, <laughs> he's so mad right now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've um, never seen that word. This normally Albert's like the 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 moderator between the two of us. Yeah. For him to be solely on my side feels nice. <laughs> um, but I was saying just the physics of the water. In this movie, I enjoyed. Sure. We haven't seen the water in in the Alien movie yet. So uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender, we haven't seen that one. Uh, so I've seen it. <laughs> I know, just kidding. Um, but in the, in the, also the action and the visual effects for the symbiotes. And I was looking forward to getting Toxin in this movie. And for some reason, Toxin just abandons Mulligan just for whatever reason. And we get some still cool-looking, like, teal symbiote with serpent-like. Yeah. Cool visual, but, I mean, I was expecting more from Mulligan and, and that character. But we've, we've gotten three different, yeah, yeah. We've gotten three <laughs> different directors each movie, and that's why I... Oh, so it's it, hard. It gets another pass. No, no, no I, that's what I'm saying. That's why if you have, if you have one director... Then there isn't, and uh, maybe as much inconsistency. With for the... me, when you get to this level of production with Sony, yeah, the director has little control of the actual content of the movie. Mm. It's it's with Sony and the IP like Venom. It's going to be a boardroom of people writing this story. Yeah, yeah, it should be a boardroom of people. It's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be. Not it should Not be. It is with the money involved. Yeah, yeah. I don't expect the director to have much control. Yeah, unless you're Quentin Tarantino or someone like that. Well, yeah, but yeah, but then the director there is getting paid to do the job. Yeah, as opposed to the the yeah, the director head. is going to be there on set to follow the directions of whatever boardroom is writing the story. Yeah, yeah. I I I get all your criticisms. Believe me. I, I just don't know for whatever reason if it's the anticipation of the future character with the enjoyment but of... But with how bad this movie like is doing, do you think they're going to want to make that? Well, we don't know. It's only a day and a half. I think... I mean, it has a 37% score on Rotten Tomatoes right now. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, but also... I, I don't watch the tomato meter. I feel like okay movies get like really high scores and like some movies I like get low scores or vice versa like it's flipped and I feel like it just depends on what what critics are looking for is totally different what the general audience is looking at yeah I agree so I don't really pay attention to like 
oh, it has 35% or something like that. Like, okay, if I enjoy it, I enjoy it for whatever reason. I yeah, just enjoy fine, this movie. But, but, like, if it's not making money and it's poorly reviewed, yeah, then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Hopefully, we you're, get... You're saying that a lot right now? I do understand. I Logically, you guys are speaking more consistently than I than I do on uh, most movies. But... This is one of them. For sure, this is one <laughs> okay. of them. Okay. So, what's your score? <laughs> what's my score? My final score? Yeah. I'm going to give it a... I'll move it down, but not much. I'll move it down okay. to a six. I'll move it down to a six. Because uh, I don't expect you to rate other movies for the anticipation of a sequel or spinoff or anything. I expect you to rate a movie for the movie yeah. itself. Uh, Are you excited about what you get of Null in this movie? I am. I am. Okay. Uh, because, like I've said before, it wasn't a Hella. It wasn't a, a Carnage. It wasn't an Ultron. Like, these big bads made out to be, like, crazy big. Okay. And their but we henchmen. haven't even gone the big bad yet. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not his movie yet. So yeah. you can't say that. Yeah. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I What I would have what I would have hated more is if they introduced him and killed him. Like they typically do. Just just but his henchmen, his minions, xenophages, being stronger than seems like like Ultron level. Maybe not that strong, but like... You put Iron Man against one of these things, and what's he going to do? He's not going to do much. Like, like I, he, I he's going like, to be eaten before he gets to the solution. I feel like that's just, like, totally not an argument that you can make because you don't know. You, you don't see it. Can, can I assume that he's stronger than his minions? Huh? Yes, you can assume okay. that. So the fact that I would hope so. I, me too. But that's all we can assume. That that's that's all I'm assuming that he's at least magnitude stronger than these things. Yeah. I, so and all the, we know for sure is yeah. that he's the father or god of symbiotes. Of symbiotes. Yeah. And he's the father or god of the xenophages. Yeah. 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 And and all we get of him is narrating and sending his minions off to the universe. Yeah. Yeah. I. Like I said, I would have liked it significantly less if we rushed through his story. Like we haven't even yeah. started his story yet. We got we got a five sentence, two paragraph synopsis of yeah. what who he is, where he comes from, what he does, and what he wants, and what he wants. Yeah. And so we set him up, and if they so, get enough mo- money, then they can expand on that because he looks like an actual threat to to. Anyone, he Superman, uh, not Superman, Spider-Man, <laughs> Venom. But uh, he just sat there. Like you, ha- why? So uh, another question. This doesn't really make sense because he didn't get the the uh, codex. But is is he free now? No, no, no. He has another plan to get free because plot armor. <laughs> yeah, something. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I thought kidding. he was something lit up. No, really, he's not free. He's not free yet. He just looked up. He just looked up. He had the strength to look up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all he does is get a fourth wall break and tell us that we're going to watch. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, I feel like whatever movie we get him in, uh, I'm hoping this is it, that uh-huh. it's more horror. His yeah. aesthetic, his look. Yeah. I'm hoping we get fine. Like, I thought this was rated R. And no, it's not rated R. It's not R. rated R. And so I'm looking back, but for some reason, we had read uh, a description, and it was saying that uh, there was a we potential saw, for rated R, right? We saw an army person get shot in the water, and yeah. there was no blood in the water. It was, some it was a, little, a little bit. A little barely. Bit. Just barely, like, yeah. Yeah. She died. I'm looking, <laughs> I, I'm looking back, and I'm seeing that there was a lack of Eddie your felt bad that typical rated R. And we only had one F bomb in here too, so right. So that, which is that's the a prescribed PG, one, yeah, per PG thirteen movie. Yeah. So yeah, I do see that. I was hoping for rated R. Yeah. I'm hoping that if we do get a no movie, it's rated R, it's horror, and he's actually intimidating, unlike other Marvel villains. For me, I I can't see 
horror rated R Marvel going well because they want to be able to show yeah the but bad guy Sony, so. but horror usually you don't want to see the bad guy often enough yeah yeah i mean we're probably only going to get the bad guy because venom venom died they have like a sliver him somewhere else so that's what um, i'm assuming in a different world and th- maybe it's a different world the one that w- that you guys are talking about was um in the, the lab where everything else died so yeah so, but there's a cockroach that uh screams symbiote was part of but i feel like that small sample for whatever reason like that's that's gonna be the, the one that got left behind in the bar yeah uh the one yeah that they captured uh-huh. it's in the At, test in, tubes in the bar and yeah 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 that the that's gonna be how Venom gets reintroduced, or if they do it, yeah, if they if they do it, that's probably gonna be the where he comes from. They they have to do it if they want to bring this. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Like what, what's the point of establishing this symbiote killer if there's no symbiote to kill to catch? Yeah. yeah. Unless they're gonna use the the pain lady as the main character, because yeah, she's alive. You would love to see that, right? They do a good job, yeah, but... Oh, th- do they do a good job in this one? No, but if they... So what makes you believe that they will? It's a hope. <laughs> Faith. <laughs> I'm praying. No, I'm kidding. Becky got his knees. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun in this movie. Copium. Copium? <laughs> Copium. Like, Huffing it real hard. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's, it's kind of crazy right now. I'd rather watch this than most of Phase 4 of Marvel, but... That's just me and my what I'm looking forward to in a superhero movie. Okay. So That's... I'm just saying, like, you you don't want to watch this uh, maybe to like Multiverse of Madness is puff, puff, better pass, in your opinion. Just just one just puff of it and then just pass it on to someone. I'm sucking on this thing <laughs> until it's gone. Uh, <laughs> so. Yeah. Like we're all gonna have different opinions, of and, course. And for whatever reason, I just enjoy this movie, even if it's a bad movie, even if it doesn't make sense, it's not consistent. I, okay, I can understand if like the reasoning you're giving me is like valid, but you're only saying, uh, no. <laughs> no, I had fun with with Venom. I had fun with Eddie. I had fun mm. with the family in the van. Um. I think I forgot this. Uh, what's the soldier's name? Strickland. Uh, Strickland. I feel like he was okay. He wasn't just like, let's kill all the uh, symbiotes. I felt like that's how he was going to be, especially after he shot Venom. Like he wasn't just going to kill the rest of them. Like yeah, sure. he realized yeah. that as soon as the uh, xenophages came in, like there was no chance of surviving without the symbiote's help. Yeah. So he allowed them to help. Yeah. I, which would be He was be, also willing to sacrifice them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's also part of his character. Yeah. And Ven- Venom was also encouraging him to sacrifice. Yeah. Him so it, it's like coming together to defeat something that neither side can can defeat. Mm-hmm. They have to do it together and it ends up killing Venom, which didn't see that coming. I mean, the the title is The Last Dance, but I didn't still think they were going to kill him, mm-hmm. so to say. Uh, so, I did... Oh, this so is kind of weird. do they kill him or not? Huh? Do they kill him or not? I don't think so. Okay, then. So, then you can't say that. They killed him, but there's a piece somewhere in the world of Venom mm-hmm. where that's... For whatever reason, they're going to bring him back. That's just how comics are. That's just how comic book movies are. They bring back Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, which makes no sense. But for whatever reason, that works in that world. So, what? Well, in that world, the, the dead can come back. So yeah. that's yeah. Eddie died in the last movie. I don't remember seeing that. Did he die in Carnage? But he died sometime. Wasn't it the first movie? Did he die in the first, the first movie? movie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember that. 
They literally show a flashback. They do show a flashback. I'm like, where is this? Is this? I was like, is this even part of any movie, or is just like a filler episode? Like, what's going on here? No, this is definitely the first movie. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember the first. I think movie. it was like the final fight scene. I think so. Yeah, I, th- I had to go back and watch the first one. Maybe I'll have a different opinion. Like that one's better. Um, I think typically of most first movie superhero or any trilogy, the first movie is typically the best because you're seeing and experiencing it experiencing it for the first time i agree like the main character is i agree yeah most of the time yeah yeah um not much to say about this movie uh i had fun uh i'm looking forward to throw so many things at you right now (laughs) what what do you want to throw me literally everything even the lamp even the lamp what about your uh shoe yeah okay nice um, throw it and sh- expose your feet. No. <laughs> um, no violence in the podcast. <laughs> we'll wrestle later. Um, yeah, I don't want to touch you right now. <laughs> that's a first. <laughs> well, I heard your opinions on this movie. Where's pressure everything. Undesirable, no. <laughs> um, Undesirable, number one. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have anything else to say? I I had fun. I just the plot had little consistencies. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, the dancing was fun, but why? Yeah. Leading up into the dancing doesn't make sense. Why he would have the dancing doesn't make sense. The dancing itself, it was fun. Yeah, it was sure. Fun. Better than anything we got in Joker, dance wise and musical wise. I mean, it's all in Joker's head, and he's messed up in the head. So I yeah. mean, I don't expect him to have There's a good a dancing. For that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But did you? But did you like all the dancing or any of the dancing stuff in the Joker? I mean, it's supposed to be cringy because Is he's it? messed up. Yes, yes, because he's it? messed up in the head. But it should be enjoyable at least. I mean, I mean, I would hope it'd be enjoyable. <sighs> I mean, it's enjoyable because joker is supposed to be a deranged person and character and what's the line of joker and what's you what's joker dance. and what's and yet you Arthur. still do that's my secret captain <laughs> <laughs> so why is it okay for you not to be able to dance and still dance and like what j- are you even asking <laughs> right now i'm so confused but yeah, just like batman of where's batman and where's uh, Bruce Wayne, where's yeah. Arthur, and where's Joker? Yeah. So that's yeah. the line that gets blurred and yeah. that gets confusing for on purpose. I think on purpose. Yeah. And I feel that's why the dancing works, even though it's bad. Okay, I understand. I understand the oh, reasoning oh, and, and the cringe. Yeah. But I want to confirm: you enjoyed this dancing more than Joker. I don't say I, I wouldn't say it's I enjoy it more. Rewind the tape. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, Jesse and his logic is so trash sometimes. <laughs> like I didn't. I don't think I said I enjoyed it more. I thought you did, but I don't think so. you um, said that. Oh yeah, I did. I think uh, you were just bringing up the dance scenes and saying yeah. if I liked it or not. Yeah. Yeah, and you said it, it was enjoyable. Yes. Okay. Okay. I just want to confirm for for Venom. For Venom. Yeah. 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 Well, the setup for it. And There's the reasoning sense. why they have it. Yeah, he yeah. shouldn't have danced. Logically, no, he shouldn't yeah. have transformed. He should have. He should have been the little head attached to Eddie, and they should have been dancing. And he should have been tendrils lifting up. He could have did the same thing, without transforming fully. Yeah, but instead you get full. Yeah, venom butt and sweet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the choreographed dance moves. Yeah, I hate everything about that scene. I the dancing was stupid too. Like. It, I no, liked because it was stupid, but no, like, <laughs> yeah, not not okay. It's okay. Uh, no, it's not because the whole reasoning for the dance scene is just to get them to the next area, which yes. is the the them picking them up in the the, the whatever the the special team six the special team stuff. For yeah. some reason, he really hyped up. I want the six or something like that. <laughs> yeah, he asked for yeah. something very like, specific. Six people. <laughs> I know what you mean. Leave number seven out. I don't like him. Leave him out. <laughs> there is no seven. Oh, That's why he called him the six. Duh. <laughs> Whoa. Number seven was late. 
There was no seven. He wanted six people, and he got the six people he wanted to Maybe. literally jump down and jump out. Yep, that's. And then just put him in the put him in the yeah the no plane co- and fly away. Yeah, yep. And we never see him again. Don't even care. It's about a whole him. different backstory, John. That's another movie. Sorry, Knights of Ren. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, <laughs> I been on record saying I don't like those movies either. So. What would you rather watch? The Star Wars sequels or the Venom trilogy? The Star Wars sequels. No way. <laughs> yes way. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you like this movie. They... Don't apologize, I like this. It's not okay. <laughs> uh, my next tattoo is going to be a Venom tattoo. Right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think at some point, like... I don't know, it's just very frustrating. They... I think it, it's. I think what what started it for me, what triggered me the most about this that, episode or this movie about this episode, yeah, was you started it by saying that these are better than the Spider Man Spider Man movies. I okay. I felt that energy. Okay. Of you. Um, <laughs> I enjoy this. I if I meant the trilogy, I enjoyed this specific movie more than the first two Spider Man movies. Nope, I took the. I understood that from you. Hundred percent. Yeah, so that's what I meant. Quality wise, no. Better movies for the first two Spider Mans. I just don't care for Spider Man or his friends. And that's the big purpose of the movie is to care for the main character, his friends, and his love interests. Mm-hmm. And I did not give a flying hoot about any of them. And I still don't. That's why the third movie, in my opinion, is definitely the best Tom Holland movie because a lot of those, my complaints, were taken out. Even if they didn't have Toby and Andrew, it would have been a better movie just because there was a lack of what I disliked. Okay. So that's my argument for why I like the first two less than this movie. Or at least I enjoy this one more. Okay. Even if it is because of a potentially never happening villain or movie of his type. We're done here. <laughs> We're just gonna have a circular conversation at this point. There's no no reason for it. Uh, jokes and books. <laughs> Subscribe to us on Google Podcasts, <laughs> Podcast, Spotify, uh, YouTube. Uh, like, share. Uh, if you like this trash ass movie, I'm sorry. Like, if you don't, if you don't like it, doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> you can hate it. Like, you can. This would be the worst. This is gonna be worse than Eternals, in your opinion. And I'm still going to enjoy this movie. So. Would you watch it again? In theaters, no. Mm-hmm. I'll buy it on Blu-ray. Um, anyway. 4K, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you come over, you would be like, hey, and then this is going to be Miss Chan dancing in the background. <laughs> 4K Ultra HD. You're gonna have- I'm just going to have a Miss Chan pinata on my ceiling. <laughs> You're gonna have. Uh, <laughs> you're just gonna be uh, playing this, the the dancing with Miss Chin, and then uh, and the Morbius. Morbius scene, like <laughs> split screen on just your back TV. to back, just like constant <laughs> ten hour loop on YouTube. Uh. <laughs> this has been the yeah. podcast. Enjoy us next time for. I don't know. Nothing. Uh, Whatever's next. <laughs> taking a break, though. Yeah, we're, we're taking we that. We should have put this in November. It's the holiday no season. good November. <laughs> um, Are we doing no good November this year still? Why not? We, we haven't can. even decided which ones we're doing. We could put this one out in November if you want to. to I mean, it's probably lined up to be yeah. in November. Yeah. Well, we can put something else out that we have. Put this out in no good November just to like, just make it that much of a slap to me. And uh, <laughs> you don't care. You're the one that editing it, so I don't, don't care. care. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I wear Spider-Man costumes for a living. Um, you are no, a I don't make money off costume. of this. Huh? Yeah, I girl. mean that should go to show how much you cared about this movie. Oh no, I I I won't pay any money for a symbiote suit. It, it's it's absurd to get a black with white eye symbiote suit. Like why? Just a. It's just I could literally get a black suit. And create a symbiote suit for like, if you buy the suit for thirty bucks, I can make it for forty bucks. Hmm. Why am I gonna spend a hundred plus dollars? On I don't expect you to make. Oh, uh, to buy one just yeah. flat out. I would expect you to yeah, make it. Makes no sense to buy a symbiote suit. <laughs> 
it, if you pay more than $100 for just a plain cloth symbiote suit, it makes less sense than watching this movie. That's how much, <laughs> that's how much it, it, it doesn't make sense. It's just dumb. It's just dumb. <laughs> if you go to a Goal and buy us for five bucks, maybe 20 bucks max, I'm okay with it. But if you spend 100 okay. bucks on it, <sighs> you yeah. know. Then you can watch this movie on repeat with me. <laughs> right, We're just bye. dumb out together. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye. Get us out of here. Get out of here. End it. <laughs> I hate Jesse. <laughs> you know you love me. <laughs> you sore or something? Yeah. B ball. <laughs>